Oh, such treasures. Hashtag same six Wednesday. Hey, y'all. APG Jane here. And this month, round four, August, our six items are brought to us by Lisa, my eclectic life. Mm hmm. Hmm. Luscious things like this paper that's got the purpley mimeograph look to it. I don't know what it's from. It's blurry. I think it may have been a misprint. I don't know. I, I tried to read at some of it. it talks about uh, how to use the textbook and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and glue that to our journal which, as you may recall, is made from a hanging file folder. And luckily for me, Lisa gave me a piece of paper big enough to cover that background. So that's what we're doing. We're using Yes Paste. Do not mix wet wes Yes Paste with wet glue. <laughs> Once it's dry, it's A-OK. -okay. But not when it's wet. You get snot. I know I say it. Probably every time I use it, but it's true, y'all. Now, I didn't quite get it on there straight, but it's okay. It's perfect. Serendipity, y'all. Now, I really didn't know what I was going to do. I just kind of went along, well, pretty much like I've been doing <laughs> everything else, you know, as I feel led to do, and I'll be like, I don't like that. Oh, I like that. That kind of thing. Intuitiveness. Now, we got this lovely piece of ribbon. It's got gold edges and it's got gold uh, uh, scrunchies on one side, but not on the other. And I wanted to use the gold side, but I'm going to go ahead and ruin it for y'all. I didn't use the side that had the gold stuff on it but what I am doing is pulling out the wire because it was wired ribbon okay you can take that wire out if you want to I didn't use the wire for anything I put it in the recycle bin so you know that's our little notebook that's going to hold our notes because it's a notebook and look at that fun flashcard y'all and a little quote about flowers and we got this beautiful um, oh, that's my phone. Sorry. We've got this beautiful flirty with a few butterflies. It's a it's a paper bag. And then I saw that butterfly and I'm like, oh, I just got a package of butterflies from the Dollar Tree where I bought them for a dollar twenty five because you know Dollar Tree's not a dollar anymore. Anyway, I thought, well, that one butterfly is perfect enough match. <laughs> I'm like, I need to try to use that butterfly because I love that. How it looked it with that. It was like serendipitous. Anyway, guess who's going to make a pocket? <laughs> I, I don't know. APG, tell us who's going to make a pocket for this same six Wednesday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I need to trim it up. And I know how I would be with scissors on trimming it because it is almost a canvassy, it's a lightweight canvassy kind of feeling ribbon. Okay? So that's why I got out the little craft knife and a ruler on our self healing cutting mat so I can trim it up uh, so it'll be more evenish. And I thought, well, what am I going to do about these edges? Because they might come frayed, which would be okay. I mean, nothing wrong with frayed edges. And I thought, well, we're just going to sew around the top and the bottom. Okay. And that's so that's what we're going to do. We go to the sewing machine. We do that. We didn't film that part because we just sewed it up the edge. Now I got a gold pin. And I'm going over the threads with the gold pin. So it kind of matches the edge the gold edge that was already on there now i have some gold thread but somebody didn't want to fool around with running a bobbin on you know blah 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 all that stuff so we just use 
regular old white thread in the sewing machine. And then I'm going to go over the gold sides with my pen just to help ease it into the same uh, goldenness. Goldenness. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think it worked it pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Now we're going to our uh, paper bag, and we're going to edge all around it with the gold. Now, I didn't use a straight edge to keep it straight, so it's not necessarily straight, but it's perfect, y'all, just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Just checking to make sure my, my, my paper backdrop cloth there was not wet with gold. Although it wouldn't have been a bad thing. So here's our little quote. I, you know, I filmed this yesterday and I'm voicing over today. I didn't sleep well. You know, one excuse after another. So I don't know. I don't remember what the quote says. But we'll probably be able to read it in the uh, photo montage. But that didn't come till the end. Isn't that the cutest little buyer? <laughs> There's this whole story I read at. But I can, couldn't tell you what I read. Okay. So, anyway, it's this friend of Mr. Peabody, but that's, they put in that little story how to actually pronounce it, and they don't pronounce it Peabody. It's like Peabody, Peabody, it was different. But I liked the saying right there. So, we're trimming that out and trying to get some of that purple. I didn't necessarily have a plan for the purpley stuff, but we used it. You know, in the end, we used we used the purpley paper, okay, okay. So we're going along, and I'm trimming out uh, whatever that said because I liked it. I thought, well, that I like that. We're using it, so we're just trimming it out, you know, that kind of thing. And then I lost one of the words for a while, and I'm like, where did that word go? No, I know. I'm sure that word was there. So I, I went back and watched, uh, you know, that part of the video, <laughs> this part of the video, and I'm like, oh, there's the word. Okay. And I, I was able to track down a word, y'all. Oh, the things we do. I don't know how things get lost on our desk when we don't even walk away from it. It's even worse when you do walk away. So now I got the word we. I'm going to stamp the word we, and I was going to stamp it in black, and I'm like, wait a minute. The other words on the purple part are white. We need to try to stamp them in white. Now, I know the white ink I have is really not that great. So I thought, well, we'll use some white paint because I'm smart, and we're going to stamp with white paint. <laughs> that would be my solution. When in reality... I should have used white embossing powder. That would have been, you know, yeah, that would have been the way to do it. But, no, sometimes I do things in a weird way. I'm not sure why, because I don't normally stamp with, with acrylic craft paint. But we did that day, yesterday, for this project. So it stamped kind of weird. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. But I need to fix some of it. So I got out my purple gel pens, which I did not put in the list of ingredients. Which I would say is in the description box. But it's not a box anymore. Click on that word more, dot, 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 more. And you'll be able to see a list of ingredient, additional ingredients that I used. Also, links to my fellow Same Six Wednesday artist, okay? Because it's a hop, y'all. Be sure to click on the links. Go watch their videos. Give them a thumb up. That's a like, y'all. And then do a kind comment. If you're not already subscribed to them, I invite you to subscribe to them, okay? Click the bell for notifications. That only works if you have your YouTube account set up to receive notifications. Okay. And you will get a notification of when they upload new videos and when they go live. Because some of us have live shows 
Mm -hmm. Some of us do it weekly. Some of us only do it monthly, like me, on the third Thursday, which should be tomorrow. <laughs> Self plugs. Okay, it's my channel. Da da da. So we're gluing that on with uh, Fabrifix because that's that's the glue I have, and I knew I would need to clamp it down because it is a, almost kind of a heavy weightish thing. So we're clamping it up on the two edges that I glued because I was just going for a tuck spot. I end up gluing that top right there so we have a side pocket, okay? I didn't bend that part, but I'm going to tell you now. So we set that aside over there so it can dry us, and we're going to work on our... Uh, paper bag i like the number 13 y'all it's just a number i like it one three makes four mm -hmm. so we're, we're like where are we going to put it we know we're going to have to kind of fix it so that the uh, paper bag doesn't f keep flopping open so that's kind of i'm like well we'll just do it that way and then i change my mind and we do it a slightly different way but I want the 8 plus 5 on the inside. Now, I could have totally altered it, but I didn't. Because I'm like, yes, I like that. 8 plus 5. 13. So, we're going to glue that inside our paper bag thing. Okay? Okay, I'm trying to center it. I can see now from this overhead view, I didn't quite get it centered. But it's okay. Nothing to really worry about, y'all. I can slide that in there, which I was thinking about. I did not make anything to put in the bag, the bag pocket. So we're trimming this off. I know I'm eyeballing it. I should have used a cutter, but I did pretty good. I kept my thoughts nice and straight, so I did pretty good. I'm like, yeah, we'll do that. Will we do that? I don't know. I just keep flipping, flopping, and flipping, flopping. And <sighs> I didn't do any teeth sucking, though. I didn't do that. Anyway, trim it just a little bit more. More is better. Actually, wider is better, but who's, you know, we're not going there. So, anyhow, we're going to glue just the one little edge. Now, with this being a flashcard, it is. Um, between regular cardstock weight and heavy cardstock weight. So it's pretty pretty sturdy stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay. So now we need to let that dry. What are we going to do with this quote, okay? Because the focus of the quote was about flowers. I wasn't feeling florally. But we're going to use it because it's one of our six items, y'all. So we need to use it. Now we're going to use some more of that big giant magazine paper and we're just going to glue it to the back then I cover the whole thing up <laughs> and you won't sit back actually I think I turn it into a little pocket oh we're going to have to wait and see what we do with that aren't we because I think it was a pocket but now I don't remember I have a member member, member issues remember that's my little wooden roller rolly i think it's typically used for pasta but i've always used it in the studio and then i decided i like that number so we're gonna uh, i happen to have a little butterfly punch that was sitting over there and i'm like well how perfect is that so we just punch it out into a butterfly shape you can do that if you want to you don't have to always just cut things out in a square or a circle you can actually use shaped punches if you have them i mean you have them use them people come on so we're trimming that out and we've been so careful and junk and then i think we put the heat gun on it i don't know if film that part so heat gun y'all <laughs> Ah, and I'm playing around with the little number butterfly. I got that big sheet of magazine stuff still left. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Eventually, it will probably make it into my uh, my leftover stuff, pile stuff. You know, it's a pile of everything. And I'm like, oh, look at that word friend. We can use that. It's purple. Let's use it. It's purple. Oh, I'm so happy with how this came out. Any hoots, 
We trim it up. We kept our thoughts nice and straight. Okay. And that was the envelope I keep scooching back that, that Lisa sent the stuff in. I'm like, yeah, let's put it back there. It's got a butterfly up towards the top of it. Oh, he can, y'all. I got it, did it? He can. Um, oh, I, this is where I glued down the top part of that ribbon. And I'm putting just my acrylic block on there to help weight it down. And now we're going to glue down this strip, which is a leftover bottom strip from the paper we put on the background. Okay? And I just fold it in half. And I'm like, well, that's a nice little flippy floppy thing. And it is thin paper, so it would not make a very good pocket, okay? And I thought, I went ahead and punched out uh, from that leftover purpley stuff. Remember the purpley stuff we cut out back while, you know, 30 day days ago? Anyway, we're gluing them on. Just kind of willy-nilly. Just, just because I know they're practically invisible on there, but that's okay. Isn't that funny how those purples matched up so, so almost exact? It was freaky, actually. <sighs> Serendipity, y'all. I did not go around them with black ink. That might have would have helped. It's very thin. That magazine page was thin. The paper we're sticking it on is thin. Two stick would have worked. But I was lazy and didn't want to go get it out because I don't typically use it. And this is where I'm gluing on the word friend that I outlined in the gold. But you didn't get to see that part. But I did it. Okay, watch. It just says friend. How cool is that? Y'all. There's our, there's our number butterfly. And I had the option to use either 67 or 68, and I liked it 67, you know, 6, 7. And that, just so you know, there are seven butterflies inside, so every day of the week is friend day. Now we're going to look at it. See, I used that uh, brown paper to just separate between the, the spread. Oh, look, that's the Dollar Tree butterfly. How perfect is that, y'all? And here's friend. It's got seven in there, you know, seven days a week. I guess the number 24 would have been pretty good. Or 365. Here's our number 13 coming out of the little ribbon pocket. And that's whatever that says. It's a quote about flowers. And then that's just going to hold that down, and it all pops open. And there's our eight plus five guy. Okay. And it's still, it's still a paper bag. And it says stuff in there, which I thought was really cool because I made it fit together. And, it's, you know, we stamped out that word we. And right now I can't remember what it says because I can't read it. It's too far away in my little tiny screen. Look at that. How fun. Ta-da! Photo montage. Please don't forget to follow the links, okay? So you can see my uh, five same six Wednesday artists. Okay, there's a total of six of us, and we were challenged to send each other the same six items. In which case, we have to use three, but we get bonus points for using all six. <laughs> we wished a wish and seen it come true. How cool is that, <laughs> friend? Draw beauty from every flower, and I can't read that fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to go back and pause that part to read it. Oh, I so appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and happy arting, y'all.